What effect does weight have on a high performance sports car in terms of its acceleration, braking, handling and economy? Well in this video I'm going to find out by adding a load of weight to this Porsche 911 Turbo S. Oh, I think I've done my back in. Buy, sell, car, wow. The first test I'm going to do is see how adding weight to a car affects its acceleration. So this has a 3.8 litre twin turbo flat six that puts out 650 horsepower and 800 newton metres of torque, driving all four wheels for an eight speed dual clutch automatic gearbox. This car is reasonably heavy, 1.6 tonnes. So I'm going to set a baseline now with just me driving. This is what I weigh. Okay, here we go. Two point seven seven to sixty. The quarter mile is ten point five two. Well, there you go. That's the baseline. The times to beat. Now I've got a passenger. Hopefully, they won't ruin the performance. Nord sixty. Two point nine five. Quarter mile ten point seven one. That's why when I go for a drive, I like to go alone. Didn't actually make that much of a difference. Surprised. Now I've added two extra people in the back seats. The poor buggers. Let's launch it. That's 2.85 to 60. 10.72 for the quarter mile. It's interesting that with the people in the back of the car as well, you get a better Nord 60 time because it helps with the traction launching. However, that benefit soon erodes over the quarter mile where the added weight actually reduces acceleration, hence the slightly higher standing quarter mile time. Finally then, a car full of people plus an extra 150 kilos of ballast in the front boot. Let's do it. Nord 63.19, that's pretty good. The quarter mile is 11.18. That's interesting. Now, if you want to compare all the performance figures, just pause the video now. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already and hit the bell icon. That way you'll always be alerted when we make a new upload. This next test is about seeing how adding weight affects a car's braking performance. So I'm going to set a baseline now with me driving from 60 miles an hour doing a full emergency stop. Here we go. 60 miles an hour. Now. Up. Okay, so that's stopped in 29 meters. That is impressive. What happens when we add some weight? Right, you ready for the brake test? Yeah. Good, let's do it. All right, 60 mile an hour. Here we go. Ooh, yeah. It stopped in 32 meters. Hmm, to your fault. Now with two passengers in the back seats as well. I apologize for this. Here we go. Oh. So that stopped in 32 meters. Finally then, car full of people and 150 kilos of ballast in the front boot. What's that going to do to the braking distance? Here comes the full emergency stop. Now. Oh. Right, that stopped in 30 meters. It's really interesting that actually adding the ballast to the nose of this car improves the braking to get the second best result because it helps the tires just bite into the tarmac. Now, if you pause the video, you can actually see how the braking performance compares with the different weights. Now we're going to see what effect weight has on the 911 Turbo S's handling. So I'm going to drive this slalom course, time it, and then we use that as a baseline to compare to what happens when I drive this car the same route, fully loaded. Let's do it. God, it's sharp, this thing. Let's find out how long that took. So then, what was the time? 9.5. 9.5 exactly. Okay, now the turbo is full of people and we've got some ballast in the front. 150 kilos, so the car is quite a bit heavier. I've got my timer on board with me now, so he's gonna record the time from back there. Hopefully he won't feel too sick. Do you wanna count it in then? Three, two, one, 
Go. Oh, a bit more understeer. But that's it. What was it? 9.79. 9.79. Not that much of a difference, a little bit. Actually, this car deals with the excess weight really, really well. I'm impressed. Now I'm going to see what effect adding weight to a car does to its economy when you're cruising on the motorway at 70 miles an hour. So I've got the cruise control on, I'm at 70. I'm going to drive a couple of laps of this bowl, which will be four miles, and we'll see what the average economy I have over that distance. I'm going to reset the trick computer now. Okay, coming up to four miles. Average economy, 33.7 mpg. That's the baseline. And what an impressive baseline considering the performance this car can deliver. It's nuts. Anyway, let's add some weight. Now I'm gonna do the same thing again, but we've got a full car and 150 kilos in the front boot. What will that do to the economy when you're cruising at 70? I'm gonna reset the trick computer now. If you're finding this all rather tedious, click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below to go to a playlist of 911 Turbo S drag race videos. Coming to the end now. There we go, four miles, 33.5 mpg. So then, what have we learned from this car wow science? Well, adding extra weight to a Porsche 911 Turbo S hardly affects its performance at all. It's all to do with power to weight ratio, which means that the more power you have, doesn't really matter too much if you add a bit more weight. Always go for more power is the simple answer to almost everything. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Click on those windows there for some more videos. Or on that box there to go to Car Wow to sell your car. All you have to do is upload some photos, give a brief description. The now, dealers will bid on your car. And 83% of people who sell their car through Car Wow say they got the best price through us. Go check it out, it's completely free.